The Spanish late Miocene locality of Batagines I has yielded a rich sample of large carnivorans since its discovery in 1991, including saber-toothed felids, hyenids, amphithionids, and ailurids, but also smaller species with the small cats being especially interesting. Two species are known from this site, one of them the size of a wild cat, the other one the size of a caracal. The former is represented by skulls, mandibles and postcranial bones, whereas the latter is known from a collection of long bones. Both species are less abundant than their larger relatives, the saber-toothed felids, promegantherion and machairodus, but the available sample has allowed us to assess body proportions and adaptations of the smallest species in a recent paper, proposing a new genus for this feline, Leptophelis. The limb bones of Leptophelis are much more slender compared to fossils of the earlier Middle Miocene genera Sedalurus, Myopantera and Stereophelis, and comparable in cursorial adaptations to the extant wild cat thus very different from the extant arboreal cats. The skeleton of Leptophelis shows a combination of primitive and derived features unique among all the known felines. The knees, for instance, exhibited a much greater flexion range than those of the extant felines, which suggests an exceptional capacity for jumping. The Galcanius had a much larger attachment surface for the muscle quadratus plantae than that of other felines, which indicates a larger muscle capable of generating the strong contraction forces required for such leaps. This leaping ability probably allowed Leptophelis to hunt birds that try to escape flying from the ground, as extant servals and caracals do, and escaping from the attack of the giant predators that inhabited the same areas as this small feline. Besides these primitive features, typical of a climbing hunter, the elbow of Leptophelis has a modern morphology, designed for an efficient terrestrial locomotion, something equally important for hunting and avoiding other larger predators. The mosaic proscranial morphology of Leptophelis probably indicates an adaptation to a mixture of habitats including vegetated patches and relatively open areas and may be related to the climatic changes detected in Eurasia during the late Miocene. The fossil sample from Batallones allows us to reconstruct the proportions and life appearance of Leptophelis with reasonable confidence. The long limbs and vertebral column made the cat look agile and lightly built. Concerning the coat color pattern, for which the fossils provide no information, we borrow it from some extant fillets, such as the marbled cat, which, according to some experts, would have preserved a pattern that is primitive for the whole cat family. Among small extant cats from Spain, the wild cat and the Iberian lynx share many of the adaptations of the felines from Batallones. These cats inhabit a variety of transitional habitats between forest and grass. They hunt and forage mostly on the ground, but they can climb easily in the face of danger, and they can take prodigious leaps without apparent effort, like this lynx climbing a steep rocky hill. It appears that Leptophelis was already occupying an ecological niche comparable to that of modern felines from Spain more than 9 million years ago.